oh my god, if we do find new planets in our solar system, that means they're gonna have to probably demote Uranus. Uranus has been demoted. Sorry, ma'am. I don't know if you know this. Thor news is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. I sure have been talking a lot about Planet X this year, in 2015. Jeez Louise, I don't even know how many videos I have done, but it is quite a few. And these are all legitimate, scientific videos about the presence of Planet X. Now, for all of us intelligent, non tinfoil hat, beanie baby investing people, Planet X basically means any new planet, planetoid found outside of the Kuiper Belt. K U I P E R. People make fun of me for the way I say Kuiper, but um, I think that's working as intended. I think comedy is a big part of my channel. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Whereas, like most truthers, are like the whole world's gonna end. They're gonna steal your guns. You're going to martial law. They're putting cyanide in your Pepsi. They're giving babies liberal prosthetics. Uh, I'm not as alarmist. I don't believe. I like to tell jokes. I mean, fuck it. If the world's gonna end, at least we should have a good time, right? All right. Scientists claimed they found elusive Planet X. Doubting astronomers are in an uproar. Now, this is hilarious because I've never heard a single freaking astronomer doubt dark matter. Dark matter is a thing that scientists cannot see, cannot touch, cannot smell, cannot photograph in any spectrum, but still, no astronomer has ever doubted the existence of dark matter on record as far as I know. Yet every time we have an astronomer or a set of astronomers come forward with a glaring set of evidence, you get a legion of astronomers to come up and doubt them. We'll get to our buddy Phil Plate, the skeptic, later. and so. That I find hilarious. Now let us get to this Planet X story, because I think we have two sets of astronomers finding two different sets of Planet X's. And I saw a report by our good friend BP Earthwatch saying that one of the objects they found is in our solar system between Saturn and I think it was Pluto. And that's freaking super interesting, man. You know? And super props to uh, the Washington Post, because the Washington Post seems to cover the story better than any other major newspaper out there. Can I still call it a newspaper, man? It's more of like a website, but... It's a big dark presence at the farthest reaches of our solar system. A mysterious force powerful enough to skew the paths of planets in orbit, yet so subtle that it slips undetected past even the most powerful telescopes on Earth. For centuries, it has eluded some of the most brilliant minds in astronomy. Wow, that's saying a lot. Like, who is the most brilliant mind in astronomy these days? Like, Mike Brown? All he did was kill Pluto. I'm Mike Brown, I kill Pluto! Oh, Jesus. We talking about Mike Brown again? I don't know if you guys know Mike Brown. He killed Pluto. Some say it even destroyed one. And his way to planet it destroyed an astronomer? That's first I heard of that. It's a subject of endless calculations, rampant speculation, crackpot theories, and countless hours spent gazing fruitlessly at the sky. You know, the same thing could be said about dark matter, but you know, this subject, it's known as Planet X. And on Tuesday, a group of astronomers said they'd found not just one such presence, but two of them. As we have noted in our series before, astronomers have said that there may be one or two major planets out beyond the Kuiper Belt that are making waves across our solar system, which is fascinating. Alma discovers the most distant object of the solar system. Read the title of one paper uploaded to the research sharing site Erzix. A serendipitous discovery of a possible new solar system object with Alma went the other. Oh my god, if we do find new planets in our solar system, that means they're gonna have to probably demote Uranus. Uranus has been demoted. Sorry, ma'am. <sighs> okay. Using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, a powerful telescope located in the highest desert of Chile, the researchers said they'd come across two extremely large objects skimming through the outskirts of the solar system. Uh-oh, two large objects. I guess that means Uranus and Neptune will have to be demoted to distract the folks. Though both studies were submitted to the prestigious journal Astronomy and Astrophysics, neither has been peer-reviewed or formally published. Steps that are par for the course for BS propaganda serious scientific research approved by government and corporations. All right, let me just say this though. With everything that's going on in the world, we seem to have a bit of a divide and conquer, totally distract mentality being forced upon us. And so, where so many people are convinced Planet X is here and causing major differences, I want to just say it would fit in their plans to totally make this bullshit up. Now, I'm not saying it's not true, and I'm not saying that Planet X is not there. I think we all know that there are multiple Planet Xs in and around our solar system. But I did want to add that just, you know, when it's becoming such a major story, 
that's when you think it may be BS. When they're not talking about it, I don't know. It's all it's all stupid rabbit hole. Now I'm falling in a mental vortex. And my gut hurts. Oh, I'll get back to the story soon. Very soon. Okay, great. Steps that are par for the course with any kind of serious scientific research, but especially when pronouncements of previously unknown planets are at stake. They're both based on limited observations, just two spottings apiece for each object. And even after just 48 hours online, they have garnered a great deal of skepticism within the astronomy community. Uh, how about sour grapes and rotten apples? Whereas a lot of these astronomers have never actually found crap, or they're all dark matter discoveries that can never be proven or verified, these two guys may have just Mike Browned it. And we know how cocky that guy got forever. But the researchers say they posted their papers with exactly that purpose. We specifically wanted to reach the community that could tell us if we overlook something, in which case we fully intend to withdraw the papers. Wouter Vlemings, an astronomer at Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden, and co-author of both studies, told the Scientific American. And that's another thing, because they're outside of the NASA American astronomy field, they may not have the same constraints that NASA astronomers do. What Vlemings and his colleagues said they found, a large rocky something they called GNA, Gna, for a fast-moving Nordic messenger goddess, one of the authors told Scientific American. That could be an asteroid-type object roughly the size of Ireland zooming around somewhere near Uranus. Alternatively, the researchers propose it could be an undiscovered planet floating much farther out, or even a brown dwarf bigger than a planet smaller than a star passing through interstellar space. But that's impossible. Amy Manzer said that, that it wasn't there. Amy Manzer. I miss talking about her. I do. Also, a mysterious unnamed object that appears in the sky close to the Alpha Centauri system that may be a super Earth planet far beyond even Pluto or a super cool brown dwarf that's really far. It could conceivably be an icy trans Neptunian object. All right, great. All of which sounds pretty cool, unless you're Mike Brown. Ha ha ha. A Caltech astronomer who has spent the majority of his careers scanning the farthest reaches of the solar system for just these kinds of objects. The self proclaimed Pluto killer. I kill Pluto. I kill Pluto. I'm Mike Brown. I killed Pluto, who discovered a trans-Neptunian object, big things out past Neptune, that helped dethrone the erstwhile ninth planet back in 2005, would be thrilled to find the long-sought Planet X. But he wouldn't be thrilled if other people found it, apparently. He'd be almost as happy to see other researchers had found it. I don't know about that, man. But these two papers, he said, are not that. And now some sour grapes wine, brought to you by Mike Brown. The logical leaps are sort of astounding. What they really saw, they saw, is a little blip and then six months later, another little blip. That's all you saw, dude. That's all you guys ever see is freaking two pixel, three pixel, two pixel, three pixel blips. And then you tell us, oh my God, it's got 55% hydrogen, 33% methane, 2% unicorn dust. Its mass is 65 trillion grams. It was born in negative three billion years ago. It's super cold. It's made of ice and it's a virgin. Its favorite color is purple and it's allergic to gold. Whatever, man. I'm gonna let you blip. It sounds to me like Mike Brown is mad somebody else found it. The evidence that the researchers offer for their findings is too scanty, Brown said. Mike Brown, I'm gonna revoke your man card. Who uses the word scanty? Scanty, what kind of word is that? That's not a word. Okay, it's a word, but it's a crappy word. Brown said that the probability they could have stumbled across a huge planet-like object in a tiny patch of sky is too small. Oh yeah, that's a great explanation, Mike. Bitter grapes, sour grapes, crappy grapes turd grapes. Finding Planet X in the small field of vision they studied with the Alma telescope, he said, would be like scooping a cup full of water from the ocean and pulling out the white whale. Not buying it. Jonathan McDowell, an astronomer with the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, told Gizmodo it was a considerable stretch to claim an outer solar system object had been found based on the information in the reports. There could be problems with the Alma instruments or other explanations for the blips that form the basis of the reports, he said. This may be a classic case of we should have waited for the referee's report before going on the Arix. All right, I'm going to have to recover. This is too long. Whatever. This is making me mad. This is making me really mad. I'm going to punch you in your nuggets. What type of sauce would you like?